All right, what's up, guys? Um, today I was um wondering how to like uh, make cloth objects in Cinema 4D and make them behave like um, cloth and everything. And um, I came along a tutorial um, from Maxon C4D, and um, it shows you how to make cloth and how it to make it behave like cloth in Cinema 4D. And um, I'll show you guys how to do this in case anybody is wondering. And um, just letting everybody know, just spreading the knowledge of how to make cloth. And uh, yeah, so here we go. Um, let's say you have a, a sphere or something. I don't know, or a tabletop, or a chair, or anything, but I'm going to use a sphere. And let's, and then, um, this is the object that our cloth is going to fall around. And we're going to take a plane, and the plane is going to be our cloth. Um, I'm just going to make it 500 by 500. <coughs> and, uh, so it's a bit bigger, so it'll wrap around better. And uh, I'm just going to drag this up a bit so that when um, the dynamics and forces uh, come to play, it will fall down onto our object and not just like, I don't even know what would happen if I placed it inside the object. But anyways, um, if you click on our sphere and then right click it, well, actually just right click on the sphere, if you go cloth tags, there's three tags, there's belt, cloth, and collider. Since our sphere is the one that's going to be um, being hit by our cloth, we're going to want to put this as our collider. And you can keep everything the same in the collider tag. You don't have to change anything. Now if you click on um, our plane, and you right click it, and then you go cloth tags, obviously this is going to be our cloth. So click cloth. There you go. Now if we click play, you see that nothing happens. And that's because this cloth tag only works on um, objects that have been made editable or is an editable object or a polygon or whatever. So basically, all you need to do is either press C on the keyboard to make it editable or come over here and click the make editable button in the left corner. Well, kind of left corner-ish. Anyways, but as soon as you do that and if you play, you can see right away that our cloth falls down, wraps around an object. But um, you can see that the our um, what should we call it? Our cloth is only one pixel thin. It, it's paper thin because a plane it doesn't have depth or anything. So to add depth to our plane. Um, we're going to come under simulation, cloth, and grab a cloth nerb. And if you drag the plane as a child of the cloth nerb, you can see that it will do, uh, as soon as you drop it in, it'll subdivide our plane, um, by one. <clears throat> you don't need it subdivided, so you can change that back down to zero. It'll be easier on the render, easier on everything in your computer just because there's less polygons to calculate and here's what we want to change in our thing it's called thickness and the thicker you put it obviously the thicker your cloth is going to be um i'm going to change it to around two you can see it has a nice little edge there now <clears throat> kind of looks like a flattened cube uh but anyway now that we have this if we click play now And it'll just falls and it dangles. And then another thing that I don't like is that our cloth has really, really rough edges. And um, so the way that you can fix this is hypernerves. Everybody loves the hypernerves. So drag the, cl drag the cloth nerves, a child of the hypernerves, and then the plane will be a child of the cloth nerves. And it'll just be a fun time. So now when we click play, it will wrap around, and you can see it has these beautiful smooth edges, 
has nice uh, thickness for a cloth. It, it's behaving like a cloth. Um, everything's looking good uh, to make it even better. If you come into Cinema 4D Content Browser and you go Presets by clicking the little ink bottle and you go um, this is an R12 by the way so I don't know exactly what it would be under for 11.5 but um, try your best I'm pretty sure you can go search and then search it uh, you can probably find it but anyways um, I'm gonna go back to uh, I don't want to search anymore there we go I'm gonna go back to my um, presets I'm gonna go prime materials miscellaneous and then if we scroll down here there's a whole bunch of um, materials called fabric cloth one fabric cloth two and uh, you can choose any one you want but I find the one that looks the best is fabric cloth four and if you can drag this out of your content browser into your material bar and then drag this straight onto your plane put it on the plane and now when we render it out uh, I'll zoom in here so you can see it. It looks really nice. Here we go. It's, it even looks a bit fuzzy, a little bit fluffy. And yeah, the, now we have like a real, I don't know why I did that, but now we have a, a real looking material on our plain object. So that um, looks like a cloth. Um, and yeah, this is basically a quick way that you can make, um, your objects behave like cloths. Um, I hope you guys found it useful. You can use, you don't even need to have a sphere as your collider. Let's say, I'll back this up. Let's say you wanted, a a landscape as your collider and your land was like really pointy. I don't know. Uh, you just need to put the collider tag on it and uh, when you click play it it wraps around um, our landscape but since our thing has a hyper nerb it won't it kind of smooths it out so you don't see every single jagged edge but you don't see that in real life either so it's looking pretty realistic um yeah i hope you guys found this useful um like it uh comment if you have any questions and subscribe if you're not you can always use more subscribers more people that i can teach to like teaching everybody but anyways um see you in the next one peace out